Hello everyone, my name is Jenny Katricious and I'm the school psychologist at Brookfield Central High School. Today, myself and members of our student services team will be presenting helpful and potentially life-saving information with you, focusing on suicide awareness and prevention. We know this is a very important topic to discuss and Elmbrook School District has made student safety and well-being a top priority. At BC, we are committed to fostering a culture of care and now more than ever, we will continue to look out for each other. Please monitor yourself and those around you as this topic may bring about heightened emotions for some who could be going through a difficult time personally for a variety of different reasons. We hope this presentation will help to diminish stigma around mental health, encourage help-seeking behaviors, and remind each of you that you are not alone. Always remember, there is hope, and never forget Every adult at BC is here for you, not just today, but every day. As a longstanding member of the BC community, I have seen firsthand the impact of suicide and the pain it has caused us all. I have also seen countless students saved from suicide by caring students like you who have come to us so that we could take action. We understand that this is a sensitive topic, yet the reality is, Suicide is the second leading cause of death for people 10 to 34 years old. You can make the difference. You may be already familiar with the Signs of Suicide program. Our goals today are to provide information on risk factors, warning signs, and most importantly, how to respond. Your response can save someone's life. You can be the difference. The warning signs can be broken down into four categories. We use the acronym FACTS, feelings, actions, changes, and threats. Let's talk about feelings associated with suicidal risk. If one is hopeless, they may say, things will never get better. Why even bother trying? A possible feeling may be worthlessness. I can't do anything right. Or feeling hopeless and saying, nothing I do seems to make a difference. Some may have feelings of guilt, shame, or personal failure. I'll never be good enough. For others, it may appear like feeling like a burden. My parents would worry too much if they knew how I was feeling. Some may have persistent feelings of sadness, anxiety, be agitated, or not have the ability to think straight and make decisions. Actions. Actions that are associated with suicidal risk may be risk-taking behaviors or aggression, withdrawing from friends or their usual activities, self-isolation, accident prone, a recent loss in their life like death or a relationship, getting into trouble, drug or alcohol abuse, talking or writing about death in general, noticeable changes with increased suicidal risk. Could be just a don't care attitude increase or decrease of energy, appearing more talkative than they usually would be, struggles concentrating, loss of interest in their usual activities, decreased schoolwork, decreased sleep or appetite, sudden improvement after being down, or they may have a serious illness. Often the most obvious or at least easily identifiable risks that you can recognize is the T in fact or threat. Um, when someone might make explicit statements or take actions that are directly related to suicide. For example, making explicit statements about dying, um, like, I wish I were dead, or implicit statements like, it'll be fine because I won't be around anymore, might be a real indicator um, of suicide being imminent. Um, additionally, research or taking actions to explore options or pathways for suicide are also a huge risk, like, researching drug effects, or trying to obtain a weapon. In particular, in addition to the warning signs that we've described so far, um, there are other things that might really up the imminent danger of suicide. One of those is a significant increase in depression or an incredibly um, deep or low experience that someone might, uh, might experience. Furthermore, substance abuse. Use of drugs or alcohol makes us lose some of our inhibition and might make it more easy for us to do something that we wouldn't normally do. Both of these could be huge possibilities for, an, um, for suicide danger and would need to be reported immediately. In particular, that's why it's so important to take any statements or any 
any risk factors seriously and share it right away. It's also incredibly important not to joke about it. Um, we will investigate anything that sounds, uh, sounds like a danger for someone. Um, because we know that mental illness and because we know that depression and suicide are preventable, um, it's incredibly important that you know what to do if you see it in someone that you care about or you see it in yourself. Over the next few um, slides, we're going to share with you the Acknowledge, Care, Tell strategy, which lines up exactly what you should do if you're faced with uh, seeing these warning signs in your life. A is for Acknowledge. Almost 80% of suicides give some warning. Always take them seriously and acknowledge their feelings. Use statements like, that sounds really hard. I'm sorry to hear this. C is for care. Always listen attentively and let the person share as much as they want. Remain supportive and use statements like, I'm worried about you. I just want to make sure that you're safe. T is for tell. Tell a trusted adult immediately. Use statements like, let's go talk with a school counselor, or let's go meet with our school psychologist or school social worker. Students often express themselves using social media. If you see something, say something. Tell a trusted adult immediately. Call 911 outside of regular school hours. Please do not send an email. Good morning, I'm Officer Cater, your school resource officer. One of my main objectives here at Brookfield Central is to maintain a safe, secure, and orderly learning environment for students, teachers, and staff. If you see or hear of an incident that causes high alert of concern, say something. This includes informing me or any one of the student services team of what you've been informed of. As mentioned in the previous slide, if an incident occurs outside of school hours that need immediate assistance due to imminent threats, call 911. A well-being check would be conducted by a law enforcement officer and they will assist in obtaining the resources needed to help that person in question. Our student services team works together and will meet with any student, not just a student who's assigned to them. If you have safety concerns for yourself or someone else, seek adult support immediately from student service member or an administrator. Our student services team consists of Mrs. Primo, Mr. Grill, Mrs. Devine, Ms. Lemke, Ms. Catricious, Ms. Gruby, Ms. Adams, and Mrs. Farley. There are many resources to access if you or someone you know is struggling with some mental health concerns or is experiencing a mental health crisis, including suicidal thoughts. Be sure to type Hopeline in your text when using that resource so it initiates the responder. Know that they are trained professionals and will stay in the text conversation as long as needed. Please look in your Elmbrook email to see this presentation so you can access the direct links. These resources are specific to Waukesha County, and within these links, there are a variety of helpful resources for you, a friend, or your family. We encourage you to take a look at these together with your family and share these resources with anyone. Elmbrook School District is proud to be involved in the work of the Zero Suicide Comprehensive Approach, which is a commitment to suicide prevention for all community members. Speak Up, Speak Out is completely confidential, available 24 hours, seven days a week to every person statewide. For those of you that have been a part of our Elmbrook and BC community, we have been dedicated to, if you see something, say something. In using the Speak Up, Speak Out app, please know that you have access to any of these options outside of school hours, which includes taking a screenshot or photo and sending a recorded video or voice recording. When using the Speak Up, Speak Out app, please know that each report is handled properly and responsibly, which includes our administration, law enforcement, and mental health professionals. Remember, if you have immediate concerns for someone, always call 911 first. Another helpful resource in our community is QPR training. QPR stands for Question, Persuade, and Refer. QPR is to suicide prevention, what CPR is to a cardiac event, and that both are life-saving tools. QPR is an evidence-based approach which consists of three steps anyone can learn to prevent suicide and help save a life. In the QPR training, you will learn how to recognize the signs of suicide, know how to offer hope, and know how to get help and save a life. In Elmbrook, our goal is to have at least one member of every household QPR trained. An additional resource and important part of BC's culture of care is our Hope Squads. Elmbrook established Hope Squads at both high schools as a peer-to-peer -peer support. Research tells us that teens are two times more likely to seek help from a peer than an adult. 
Our hope squads are the eyes and ears of our school. They're trained to watch for warning signs, recognize students who are at risk, and seek help from a trusted adult. It's also important to note that QPR is the foundation of our Hope Squad training. Elmbrook Schools started the first Hope Squads in the state of Wisconsin, and we've been designated as a training site in our state to support other school districts as they launch their own Hope Squads. Now, two of our Hope Squad members will share information about Hope Squad and the importance of self-care. All of our Hope Squad members are peer nominated and are here to be a resource no matter what you are going through. Please check our Hope Squad wall and posters in the building for current members and ways to reach them. Regardless of grade or how well you know them, don't be afraid to reach out. These students will ensure that you get the proper help and resources you need. If safety is a concern, they will reach out to a trusted adult. Please remember, you are not alone, there is always hope, and we are here for you. During challenging times like these, self-care has become a bigger priority than ever. It comes in many different forms, but self-care ultimately boils down to how you take care of your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. This slide provides many different examples of how you can take care of yourself. It is important to practice self-care consistently to improve your health, mood, and energy. I appreciate the work of our great student services team in creating this presentation on this very important topic. I ask now for all students to open their Elmbrook email account and find the email entitled SOS and Sense of Belonging Student Survey. We're gonna press pause on this video so all students can take this survey. It is vital for us to have the knowledge of how each of you is feeling regarding this topic and will allow us to follow up immediately if there are any concerns. Additionally, we will use the data to help us identify opportunities to better support all of our BC students and the BC community as a whole. During the school day, if you believe that someone is at immediate risk, find any BC staff member to alert them of the situation. If you believe that someone is at immediate risk outside of the school day, call 911. Do not rely on emailing a staff member outside of the normal school day to alert us of a situation of this nature. For me as principal, my number one goal is for every student and staff member to have a sense of belonging at Brookfield Central. In the simplest terms, BC is their home. We have many courses, clubs, and activities and sports that help us attain that goal for many. In the end, our goal is to have every student and staff member to have a sense of belonging at Brookfield Central to ensure that they are cared for and supported. I've always been proud of how supportive the students and staff are of each other. And I know together that we can achieve this goal. Thank you and take care, BC.